The state of two races, of the biggest races really, I think, in the city. There's the race for mayor, and then there's a race for a seat on city commission. The candidates, incumbent Mayor Ted Wheeler versus Sarah Ayanna Roan, and incumbent city commissioner Chloe Udaley versus Mingus Maps. Today, a new poll by OPB and DHM Research finds both races tighter than ever, and the challengers leading in both of them. OPB DHM finding Ayanna Roan edging out Ted Wheeler right now by only one point, 34 to 33%, and Maps beating Udaley for the commissioner seat by a much wider uh, margin, nine points, 35 to 26. But I want to focus for a moment on the mayor's race for just a second, because you might think, look, one point, this is extremely close, separated by that small of a margin. But what if I told you it could still end up being a landslide because of them, the 6% of people who said that they are writing in either Teresa Rayford, the founder of Don't Shoot Portland, or the whopping 28% of people who said that they are still at this point undecided. 28%. Those are people who will very well decide the winner of this race and could swing it in a very big way. We're going to hear from both Wheeler and Ayanna Roan in just a bit. But first, I kind of want to drive home just how remarkable it is to still have so many people undecided at this point in the game. And to put that into perspective, I talked to OPB's Jeff Mapes about their new poll. Oftentimes at this point in the race, the argument is that while well, people have pretty much made up their mind, especially when there have been so many opportunities for both of these candidates to be in the limelight during major, major issues um, in the country and within this state and city, uh, it is surprising to see such a large number of undecided voters. Do we, can we credit anything for that? Well, why is that, do you think? Well, I think part of it is that Sarah Iannarone is not as well known. And so I think there's still some questions about that. And I think, frankly, from the voters I talked to yet, uh, earlier this week, there is some uh, uncertainty about uh, whether they agree with her. You know, she is running considerably to the left of Ted Wheeler. And I think there are a fair number of voters out there who are not happy with uh, particularly what's been happening in the last several months under uh, the mayor's watch. But they're not sure she's an alternative that they can uh, that they can vote for. So Wheeler and I Aaron, they have a they have a really limited time at this point to convince the 28 percent of Portland voters to back them in the race. And this morning there was another virtual debate between the two of them led by now this. And both were asked about policing. It's been a huge topic through all of this. First, they asked Mayor Wheeler if he thought he still had control of the Portland Police Bureau. We're going to play out his answer now in its entirety. Here it is. PPB firmly under my control. No, because the way we currently have structured uh, the, well, let, let me step back. Um, the city charter assumes civilian oversight of the Portland Police Bureau, but the authority has actually been ceded to the Portland Police Bureau by former city councils through their collective bargaining agreements. The oversight and accountability mechanisms that currently exist do not put me as mayor or police commissioner in the driver's seat. In fact, um, what has happened previously is mayors have fired police officers, chiefs have fired police officers, but because of the contract that was negotiated with the union, it then goes to arbitration and almost uniformly arbitrators have found in favor of the officers. So we actually have officers who work for the police bureau who've been previously fired. So no, that, that level of oversight and accountability uh, does not exist to the degree that people think it does, but in the areas that I do control around taking people off the streets, around adding directives to the Portland Police Bureau in terms of standing up demilitarized options or investing in community, I have that control. And those are those are levelers, levers that I've I've pulled during my administration. I'm going to continue to use the tools I do have at my discretion as a weak mayor under a weak contract that cedes a lot of authority to the police union itself. Um, but I, I think we're making progress in the right direction and I'm not doing it alone. I'm doing it with all of my colleagues on the Portland City Council. 
Now, the same questioner then asked Ayanna Roan about how she and Commissioner Joanne Hardesty would handle the police department. See, both are very big critics of the Bureau. And while Portland's mayor traditionally leads the police bureau, Ayanna Roan says that she would actually assign it to Hardesty if she wins. And that's a controversial choice to a lot of people. I mean, this summer, Hardesty had to apologize, if you remember, after she accused police of starting a fire themselves in their own union headquarters during a violent protest, which wasn't true. And with that in mind, Ayanna Roan was asked during the morning's debate today whether she thought Thought she and Hardesty could actually control the police, considering that rocky history. Listen here. I believe that there are ways that even you can work one. Uh, what we've seen is the current administration punting on a contract negotiation that was supposed to be happening now. They postponed it out until after the election. So just to make that clear, um, that could be in those contract negotiations now. Uh, but I do believe that we're actually doubling our power by having a non-mayor police commissioner and a mayor working in tandem. Right now we have singular, we have the mayor who's also functioning as the police commissioner. Uh, commissioner Hardesty is undeniably a force to be reckoned with. Um, she brings a great deal of experience in this realm. I am unequivocal in my commitment to um, police reform, uh, community safety and racial justice. And then again, along with DA Schmidt, I believe that that triumvirate of progressive reformers who are elected to reform progressively is going to be a formidable force for change um, in the next four years of Portland. So, hey, 28% undecided people, did you make up your mind? How do we do? You know, a lot of people will decide based on, you know, that topic, but there are a lot of issues right now that people are trying to decide upon. So if you're looking for some more feedback uh, to kind of your thoughts, you can find all the coverage, everything we have done on the KGW YouTube channel. There are interviews from both candidates. We have them up right now. You can find them. I know uh, a lot of you are probably going to be voting this weekend. So take the time, crack some wine, do some research, leaf through the voter's guide, and then get those ballots in. In both Oregon and Washington, you have until October 27th to safely mail in your ballot after that, you should go ahead and drop it off at an official drop box by November 3rd, Election Day. Remember, no postage is required at all in either state.